I'm 152 years old. I used to stand 49 feet tall. I have an etched in me 700 names from the Civil War. I used to stand in Franklin Park, but in 1913, the city moved me to a less populated area in Bloomington Normal. Hi, I'm Adrian Cornejo. I'm Casey Kerfoot. And we are with Cornejo and Kerfoot of Keller Williams in Bloomington, Illinois. And today we are going to be taking a ride around Briarwood. Uh, so Casey was just talking about this lovely statue here. It's the old McLean County Soldiers statue. Yep, it's a memorial. Memorial. And um, you can't see it, but if, I mean, if Paul comes a little closer, you can see all these names were in, etched in here. Um, you can find the original, or you can, this is the original, you can find the replica, replica at uh, Miller Park. Yeah. So, but it's really kind of cool and it's weird because it's, they just put it here and then someone built a house. <laughs> so let's take a ride around the neighborhood so we can give you the inside scoop about Briarwood. So we are very close to Uptown Normal in downtown Bloomington. It's kind of right in the middle, Briarwood is. So it's probably less than a mile to each, which is great. And you're really close to the Constitution Trail here. So you could hop on the trail and get to either uh, pretty easily. All the houses in here are unique and different. So there's not all just one architectural style. And um, they were, a lot of them were designed by architect A.L. Pillsbury. Oh no, he only designed one, I'm sorry. Three Briarwood. And it was the Panagraphs model home in 1927. So that's fun. When we come to Three Briarwood, let's, we can stop and kind of point that one out. Look at that guy. I have shown that house before and oh it my is gosh. so much fun. I love it. Yeah. I love those lines. It's so nice. I yeah. know. So yeah, I've shown that one before when it was on the market several oh, years back. I love it. It was a really neat house inside. Um, <laughs> part of the neighborhood backs up to Sugar Creek. And let's see, where's three? Oh, it's around. I'll take well, you Well, wait, we'll finish talking about uh, that one when we get up there, but. Yeah. Basically, this neighborhood, it makes a circle from Linden to Dawes, Norbloom, and Maple Place. So it's just like a, a there's basically two roads that make like long U-shaped loops. Mm -hmm. um, there's about 63 houses, lots of ranches and two stories. They range in the years that they were built from 1920s to the 1960s. A lot, majority of them were built in the 40s. Um, they range in price from 140 to 180. Nice yeah. And close restaurants and businesses are Keg Grove, which is uh, one of Casey and I's favorites. Those guys are great. If you guys have never checked out that brewery, do yourself a favor. Stop in there sometime. Um, it's close to King's Fall Barbershop, the Kroger on Emerson, which is my favorite of all. Kroger's. Kroger's. <laughs> this is. Three. Oh, and it's right across from this little pavilion there. So, yep. so number three, uh, it was designed by A.L. Pillsbury, and it was the Panagraphs model home in 1927. So Pillsbury designed over 435 homes, and 110 of the homes are still standing in Bloomington, Illinois. So this is obviously one of those 110. Um, he also designed the Ensenberger Building and Bloomington Country Club. So, it's pretty neat. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. And while um, upcoming, we're going to do a neighborhood that we talk a little bit more about him. Yep. And the schools currently are, it goes to uh, District 87. This neighborhood goes to District 87. The grade school is Bent and then BJHS and Bloomington High School. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on our fun videos. And as always, be confident, be inspired, and be moved. Thanks for watching. Bye.